Welcome back to your daily dose of guitar information, the Trogley's Guitar Show. For Would You Rock or Not today, I've got another one in the books for an interestingly modified guitar. In the past, we've talked about things like the carved up SG Jr., the headless SG, multicolored Zebra Les Paul cases, crazily modified vintage tellies, leprechaun SGs, Darth Vader guitars, and other scary things. But today, we have another one to add to the heavily modified deluxe collection. If you remember this one from 143, this new one might not seem as extreme, but it wouldn't surprise me if the same guy owned it. This time, a deluxe was turned into a Stratocaster. Can you... this picture, it just makes me laugh because I hate it, but I love it at the same time. It was listed on a website called Block It. I'm not familiar with it, but a bunch of my Swedish viewers were sending me this guitar. And it was listed for roughly 1500 US dollars and it sold relatively quickly. So let's take a look here. This started life as kind of like an early to mid 70s deluxe. There's not quite enough photos to be able to pinpoint the exact year of production, but you can see it has the mahogany neck and a larger headstock. So I would put it roughly like 73, 74, just based on what I can see. The ABR one's a good giveaway of that as well. So that means it originally looked like this, just for reference. You had, count them, one, two mini humbuckers, only four knobs, and a three-way toggle switch right there. So it appears what happened is they took the pickups out and they either just routed a huge cavity under there, swimming pool style, or they just put a black mounting plate on top of it. I think it'd be interesting to see if they did it all or nothing. Just route what they needed or all of it away. Unfortunately, we do not have photos of any of the wiring, so this could just be like some sort of quick connect system in here that somebody just had three humbuckers ready to go, three single coils, combinations, kind of like that Somnium guitar that we did a review and demo on. But its current setup is with all of them slanted, just like the bridge pickup in a regular Stratocaster style guitar. And they have just a pure black pick guard, and I think that's what makes this look so goofy, is there's just so much black plastic on this. Especially when traditionally you would have cream. Moving on here, the toggle switch was ditched in favor of three slider switches. So kind of like Jazz Master Jaguar stuff here. It was definitely Fender influenced. But, I mean, you're also going to notice right here that there is, count them, six knobs on this thing. Now these four, they originally existed there. You can see they have the thumb bleeder pointers on them yet, but the other two do not. So that's a pretty obvious telltale sign that those have been added. Now, if you think that's just a Photoshop job, don't worry, we have photos of the back. You can see the back plate has clearly been custom made. It's not quite completely straight. It's a little bit crooked, but hey, they did a much better job at creating that custom back plate than I would have. But if you think that's just a crappy Photoshop job, take a look at the impressions on the case. You can see an extra impression of a knob. Yeah, that's easy enough just to copy and paste over, but the slider switches are also there. So that tells you this just has to be real. So what do these knobs and switches even do? This is something I'm not going to be able to answer. The guitar is already sold. Who knows where it'll show up next? But the first thing I could think of is the switches in place of the toggle switch are just for on and off of each of the pickups. So you can have all three on, you can have just the middle pickup on, you could have the neck and bridge, something you couldn't normally get on a regular Stratocaster. But then what are your knobs doing? The only thing I could think of is independent volume and tone controls of each. But who knows what they could have wired this up for because there's a bunch of funky stuff you can do. Or maybe it's kind of like I was saying, this is built on like a quick connect system that somebody jerry-rigged in their house. And maybe there's additional options for the different pickups that they might have had with it. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments section below, because I'm not a wiring wizard. I don't know all the secrets. But besides those modifications, I mean, this just seems like a mid-70s deluxe. You're going to have a maple top with that traditional cherry sunburst finish. Based on all of its other features and it having an ABR1 styled bridge and tailpiece, this pretty much has to have a pancake body, but we don't have any photos to prove that. 
But the back of the guitar, traditional mahogany, it doesn't even look like it's been played all that much despite being heavily modified. It could just be the photo angle. And it looks like you still have the original double ring Cluson style tuners and Les Paul Deluxe headstock, the nice large Norlin era headstock there with the rosewood fretboard. I had some people disgusted by this, but this just looks like somebody needed a Stratocaster style guitar. It's functional, and somebody had to like this guitar enough to do this. However, keep in mind, you know, 70s Les Paul Deluxes, they weren't always as valuable as they were today. Sometimes it was just what was available. Now the case, it's a generation two chainsaw. I mean, those weren't really out till at least 1978, 79. So that was added after the fact for this guitar, unless it sat around in a store forever. But I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at this guitar. Now, unfortunately, there were no playing samples of this instrument available, which is kind of saddening. I hope one day this will surface again. But let's go ahead and listen to a few other single coiled Gibson guitars. <laughs> The only question left, would you rock the Gibson Stratocaster or not? Leave your answer down in the comments section below. And regardless of how you feel about this monstrosity, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you tomorrow on the next one. Take care.